and they are off and racing at the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country World Cup in Snowshoe. Luca Maxan right in the middle of your screen in the green jersey but Carter Woods on his right hand side just out dragging him up the hill. Bjorn Riley's got off the line very very well too. Yeah, and the riders have to do one start lap plus it's six full laps. slightly just the bottom of the screen, Bart. You can see them just getting bottled slightly. That happened yeah. in the short track as well. As well, as well. Even if it goes slightly uphill this part, the rider sprinting to the top, and yet it goes with a little bit of a turn in that. And they are out onto the start loop. Carter Woods sits up. Job done. He's got off the line quickly. And but then that turn in front of the tech feed zone. This, right. this is the first tech feed zone where also feed is allowed, and there's another uh, tech zone where only te technical support is allowed. That's later on in this call. Adrian Brachy behind him, Luca Marte, really Amos. Bjorn Riley in fifth still for the USA, so two Americans up in the top five at the minute. Then Johnson in seventh, so good home showing so far for them. Here is that rock section. On the right side, all the riders are riding. It seems to be for... Yeah, that is a bit more difficult for Dario Lilo. There's Riley Amos, would yep. dearly love to do the double here today. Won the short track earlier on the weekend. Yeah, and Bjorn Riley, he's in front of him. No, it's uh, Braden Johnson. Johnson, sorry, Braden Johnson. Absolutely oh. rest assured of that. Woods then, a second up the road from Boashi. Absolutely nothing in it. They are distancing Johnson and Amos. Yeah, the three US riders, Braden Johnson, Rayleigh Amos, Bjorn Rayleigh, they're doing well. Rayleigh Amos. On his own. On his own in third. third place. That's smart. Now it really. Uh, Adrian Brasi does. Yeah. 24 seconds. Well, Carter Woods got a, a big engine to keep the coolant in. Probably we will see. Adrian Brachy again overtaking there and in exactly the same spot. Yeah. Cat and mouse all day long between these two, except I think they're both the cat. <laughs> <laughs> and st stay and staying on the bike, it's, it's yeah, really impressive to see. We saw it yesterday in the, the downhill, just big, big rocky course here in Snowshoe, and riders just having to take so many risks. And part of it is just moving fast enough so that by the time here they come here they come leaders well, she has, like a, has a, a good plus. look at carter woods there <laughs> yeah it's an opportunity for really a was actually to come back but i don't know if it's time enough 34 seconds now what a ride from this man though gutierrez prieto ominous ominous behind carter woods as they head into the second tech zone the last time they'll be through here and there, and there it goes. It goes. Adrian, Adrian Boashi lights the blue touch paper. Carter Woods slightly slow to respond to it. Maybe give him a bike length, but look at the big Canadian. Ah, but on this, these parts, I think Carter Woods can't follow him. It's, not, it's not that steep. There's more daylight. It, there's it, more it, daylight between them than there's been, but Woods is right onto the back of him again. This is a technical part with some roots and rocks, uh, some roots in it too, a lot of trees, single track. Steeple climbs, maybe a little bit of a stronger climb. He's passed him again. Yeah, Woods yeah, yeah, now yeah. back in the lead. Boashi all of a sudden has to close a gap of a couple of bike lengths. This one's been fascinating, start to finish. This is interesting. Woods looks over the shoulder, sees that there's a little gap there. The gap is there. Yeah, Adrian Brasi is suffering. And that's not very often you get to use that sentence. Boashi in a bit of trouble here. Just a few seconds. Carter Woods leading here. Fast yeah. through there, Woods. The gap is dear. All race long. Amos, 42 seconds back. Gutierrez Prieto, one minute three. Bjorn Riley, one minute 40. At the head of that train of riders, so. What a performance. Just one corner to go then. Adrian Boishy will have to wait to Canada for that overall title, but this man, the Canadian, Carter Woods has been a class act start to finish today. Carter Woods wins in Snowshoe, West Virginia, round seven of the UCI World Cup Cross Country Olympic under 23 men's race. And what a superb performance. Pillar to post for Carter Woods. Boishy rolls across the line, dejectedly in second.
He was there or thereabouts throughout. But he couldn't match this man in the second half of the last lap. Carter Woods. Riley Amos. For Trek Factory Racing, shrug of the shoulders. But third place in front of a home crowd after the win in the short track. So it's Woods, Boishy, Amos, Gutierrez, Prieto, Riley, Lom, Malacarne, Barroso, Gomez, Martin, and Gay. Riley Amos ending up 55 seconds back off the win, but that turn of pace in the last lap from Carter Woods would explain that one. Lilo in 11th, what could have been? Shell, Corlombert, Crayer, Vettone, Rose, Trudler. Luke Vidman in 22nd. Owen Clark in 26th for Canada. So here he is, the big man. Carter Woods gets it done in snowshoe with a win in the men's under 23 cross country Olympic distance. Second place in short track and a win in cross country. Not bad. Not a bad weekend in the <laughs> office for Carter Woods. And next week to Canada. Yep. <laughs> These three have probably been the most consistent of the year. Dario Lilo finishing off the pace today. Yeah, Carter Woods now second in the overall after this weekend. Boashi leads Woods then by 160 points. Woods has leapfrog Dario Lilo in the overall after that disappointing result for Lilo today. Then it's Amos, Vidman, Martin, Riley, Malacarne, Gue, Vittone. So Boashi looking comfortable at the top, but he'll still require points from Mont Saint Anne to get the job done. Chelikins is 12th at the minute, ahead of Mario Bear. Hudima 14th, Cornillo 15th, Solvoy in 16th.